Welcome back to the presentation in class called Geometric Construction of Whole Number and Cost in General. My name is Kimwe Alex, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to construct angles of 36 degrees, 18 degrees, and 9 degrees. Straight away, I'll go to the GeoGebra software and uh, we initiate the construction. This is my GeoGebra software, and I'm going to move that figure slightly inside that way. Then I'll raise the necessary tools for using this construction. I need that. I need that. I'll also use that. And importantly, the compass. Now I need to have two points to construct my baseline through. And that's the point A, for example, and my point B maybe here. That's it. I need a uh, like in another construction to have the baseline and I pick that tool to help me plot or construct sorry as it like the two points. Next I'll have to construct a point C that's a good distance between the two, these two points as I've done in the other videos and I'm going to proceed first now this time round. We'd have the compass that way. My point C would be here. Construct to X. That. That we expect the triangle CAB to be an equilateral triangle. I can uh, do the points together, I can join. Sorry. That way. Next, I'll use the angle bisection tool to help me bisect the code BC through angle, through angle A. That way. I will then need to label this point as point D, and I'll use this tool for that purpose, point D and E respectively. Next, I'll construct the bisection of angle ED, sorry, EDD, that way, to give me a point F. And that point is the intersection between the bisection through D and the curve B, E. I'll go further to bisect and go E D F this way E D F and with that I'll have to zoom in before I label this point of intersection as point G. After the magnification I can accurately label the point G here now. I zoom out again to have my figure back in space. And we have the necessary tools, these two codes, DG and DF. I'm going to use the compass equivalence theorem to help me generate an angle of 36. And to do that, I'm going to start with an angle of um, 32, possibly, yes. I must have that too. And I'm going to change the appearance of this into a different color. This time around, I pick that green. I label this point of intersection between the curve cutting the I mean the code cutting the curve or the R cutting the curve EC as point H. I label it that way. I list again the compass and accurately carry the length DG with H as my center. I need to generate that too and that's how I'm going to get it. I'm going to label here this point of intersection between this arc and the curve E H as the point I. I slightly magnify this point that way. And using the labeling tool, I label here as point I. Now it's clear angle I A B is that two degrees. So what I'm going to do is to construct a bisection of angle I A B that point. I'll again make it appear in a different color for distinction. I'll pick that. Now here, I label this point as point J, the point of intersection between the bisection of the angle I, A, B, and the curve B, I. I'll go further and bisect the angle J, A, B at a point K. I'm going to cut the curve at a point K. That's the bisection. I now change the appearance of this bisector again into a different color, such as that. Since angle I, 
AB is 32 degrees and angle K, AB is 8. The difference between 8 and 32 is 24 degrees. So for that matter, I'll carry the chord substanding angle I, AK at the point A. And using point C as my radius that way, I mean my center and that chord as my radius, the chord IK as my radius, I mark a point L between the curve IH. I'll change again the color of this big circle or arc into this uh, what color is that? Symbol that. That shows angle L AB is 32 degrees because I've subtracted 24 from 60. So I measure that angle and confirm if it is 36 and that's it, 36 degrees. So I am going to bisect the 36 degrees to give me 18. Construction of the, th I mean, bisection of the 36 to get 16. I'll slightly zoom in so that I can accurately label this line here and this point of intersection as that. I'll change this color into a different color. I'll this time around use that. Spray. Changed for the point M. I need to change this line, not the point. So that is the color. And now with point M in place, I can slightly zoom out. And I get that. Next, I'm going to construct the bisection of angle M. I can pick it from here. A, B. And I have the bisection at that point. Let this be... Uh, change the appearance. It should appear as the other colors. Mm -hmm. That way. Okay, I can leave it at that point. So I have my bisection here and I'm going to zoom in the figure that I can accurately label this point as point N. Sorry, it has to be very accurately placed. So I call that as my point N. I now zoom out slightly this way. And using the ankle measure tool, I measure ankle N, A, B. That gives me 9 degrees. It means ankle M, A, B is 18. And you simply have the 9 degrees, 36 degrees, and so much more from this construction. So this, at this point, I can conclude that this ankle C, AL is 24 degrees and we can uh, do the measurement again to confirm and go CAL is the angle is subtracted from the 60 degree angle and that's my 24. So we are done with the construction of the angles 9 degrees, 18 degrees, 36 degrees and maybe 24. We can proceed and construct your in the next video I'm going to show how to construct an angle of 7 sorry 10 degrees 20 in that order. So I'll begin by construction of 20 and then 10. Thank you for being in this video. Please remember to subscribe.